Again. Yeah. I think that Nintendo needs to redeem themselves pretty much with the Nintendo Switch. That's all it is. You get me? Mm-hmm. Right, right. I like the concept. Right. I like the on the go. I like yeah. that the, you have the two little controllers on the side. That is neat. You get me? Right. Does what don't bring... I like is yeah. that now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but now they're like SD cards, right? Like mm-hmm. little. But yeah, it's not ca- uh, compatible with Nintendo DS. No, uh, we went into it in our discussion. They might keep, like, the Wii U's dead, for sure. Like, they're, they're not going to keep that around. No, the Wii U The not, 3DS, they no. can probably keep it around, but I, I don't believe, know how much longer they want to keep it. I just think that the Wii U was just a big disappointment, because, again, it's not that they didn't have enough, there were good games out there, but it's just that, I don't think... It didn't catch on with other people. Right, there you go. Besides maybe, like, the I, I can't. Ex- I can't even explain the words to, to like, say it. Right. Was it a complete clusterfuck? Of like, course not. Like coming here. Again, there's some pretty nice games <laughs> there, but at the same time, it just wasn't. It wasn't like the Wii U that you're like, oh my god, look, this system it the, looks really, really nice. The Wii U had a great presentation. The the marketing for the Switch has been very poor, in my opinion. They took forever yes. to even advertise it, and we we're just finding first of out. all. They, first of all, they first announced it. Uh, I don't even think Nintendo announced it, but it was rumored Nintendo uh, X uh, XD. NX. NX. NX? Yes, sir. Okay, now they came out with the Nintendo Switch, and yet we haven't even heard about, like, what are the launch titles? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's number one. What's the price for it? Right. Okay? Because, to be honest with you... It's coming up... They're supposed to release in early 2017, March, and we it's don't a, know jack March shit. We don't know. We're already in November. Right. We're already in the second week of November. Right. Christmas is coming up. Christmas is coming up. No, me personally, I, I and not only that... Personally, maybe this is something that you might have wanted to no, I think launch around the holidays. Yes. Like most consoles are doing. Why not? So, uh, again, I think we went into it a little bit in our discussion. Did we? It is a little sad that they waited so long, but um, I, think it's, I think it's genius on their point. Because Nintendo is not necessarily a company, especially in the situation that they're in right now. People have been talking about them all year long. Oh, that yeah. them going them going out uh, with other apps with um Mitomo, mm-hmm. Pokemon Go fucking skyrocketed their stocks even though they're not even oh, involved yeah. in that game they don't even they didn't even touch that game but that did that did help but them. that that brought them but up that, a little especially bit especially with the Wii U there's so and many, how there's so many people it. talking about the mini NES and the fact that it's coming out so soon um so the again the thing that I kept telling so many of my customers at Blockbuster quote unquote. Uh, since I don't know, he likes joking that I'm a blockbuster. But the thing that I would like telling people, you do work at blockbuster. Yeah, right. Whatever. The thing that I would like telling everyone is, um, they can they know they can kind of wait around a little bit. I don't know how much longer they can wait around, but everyone knew since last year that they're working on a new console. True. So it's not like it's a secret if you know about Nintendo, and. They did it slightly before the holidays to rile up anticipation because they had announced it earlier this year and they're like, hey, it's not going to come out until next year. Right. How many people are going to wait? Right. True. They did it right before the holidays, October. Mm-hmm. So most people who might have been interested and they haven't picked up a console might want to be like, hey, well, you know what? I'll just wait for the Nintendo Switch. I don't know the price. I don't know what it's going to come with, but from the looks of it, it's going to have so X and X games. Hopefully... The, I don't know if you saw so, the Legend of Zelda. The not only, game not only that, I mean, hopefully I mean the PS1 and the, the Xbox titles. One have been an ar- amazing launch title. Yeah, that, that's, the only, definitely being a good, that's a the only game that title. we know is coming out, as well as I think um, Dragon Quest Ten is coming out on That'll it as well. That'll be another good one. Um, so you see, they, if they do do it like that, they're but, already, but, and, they're already and coming the, on and strong. from the trailer, you can see, hey, they have a Splatoon game. Is it the same one? Who knows? They have a Mario game. Is it Mario Kart 8? Who knows? They've been ports, except the Mario game, Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I do believe uh, I think that's the only ones that we know. For but sure again, it, it's smart because if you're if you're a Nintendo fanboy, you're gonna pick it up no matter what. Of course. If you're a hardcore gamer, you might have a, you probably already have a PS4 and an Xbox extra One. Cash. You already probably have a PS4 and an Xbox Let's One. Let's be honest. If you have many up, if, we have in this goddamn if you house. haven't updated uh, your consoles at all, and you see this, you might be like, "Well, hey, if it's gonna do all of that, I might want to wait before and find out." Nintendo's gonna say it in. January. They're announcing all their details in January, so we'll see. Again, I think it's smart. If they had waited longer, people would have just bought the consoles already. Right. If they waited earlier, they lose interest. Right. Like, now it's like, hey, we gotta wait two months to hear about the NX. 
and then two months later, it's out. That's Nintendo. That's been Nintendo's thing. I mean, look at their Nintendo Directs. How have all their Nintendo Directs been? Hey, check it out. Here's all these games, and they're coming out within like the next four to five months. They've been doing that forever, and it's working well for them. Nintendo Directs because has it, a great following, actually. A lot of people look forward to the directs. They, they market Yeah, them. and they, they even like, hey, guys, we're having a direct next week. Because, and people know. Because and people find from out. from their place of comfort. Yeah, so they, they, I, they, I think they, Nintendo is one of the few companies. I think they're probably the only from the uh, from the three people. I think they're the only ones from the three uh, from the three major companies that knows how to use social media to their advantage because right. it works really well. Keep going. So Sony can't really do that. Before, Microsoft doesn't really you know, do because that. Because I, I, I got I to gotta split in a couple of minutes. Before that, I want to talk about um, this uh, NES Classic. Ah, the NES Classic. The mini NES. Yes. Right. With the mini NES, the NES Classic. Yeah. The okay. mini NES. 30 Look. games for how much? 30 bucks. $60. Is it, okay, 30 <laughs> games for $60, especially since... Okay, at first, a, when they bad. first announced it in NES Classic, I thought it was actually going to be an actual console, like the yeah. NES console. You know, hey, you have to put the cartridge. I thought I liked the concept, but now that it's a little mini, little bullshit, like... The size of the palm of my hand, it's, okay, it, and there's emulators inside of it, and for sixty dollars, that is way too it's fucking much. It's like a much. little Raspberry Pi machine, almost, isn't it? Well, let's be honest with you, and probably in my and your computer, like you have most of those fucking games in there. I have most of those on my three DS and my Wii, and in your three. Uh, you, so imagine, so well, how are you for sixty dollars, and you only giving me thirty? Well, I can't say since I haven't used it myself, but most everyone is like, those are the best versions of. It those games they run better than the virtual consoles really yeah we're not gonna get plus, the bullshit that was Mega Man Legacy am I right no plus uh, with the different filters and all that stuff that you have you can play pixel perfect high definition wow I don't know man you can do it with the CRT I'm only buying that thing if they slash that price so, they have to slash the price it's three. still not worth it though Mm-mm. $60 let's be honest with you no know, that, that, that's that's a game nowadays again and for yeah, you, we're for, getting thirty for, and everything. For, for but we're you, talking for about you guys. You guys are like, I have these games. I've played them. I've had them. I've played them. They're great games. We're not talking about there's. They have blaster there, master. There, there are I've thirty heard. of the no. some of the what? greatest no. games. They lost all value. But although they're doing, they're thir- 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 thirty like games and they're pretty damn good year. games. Okay, we're th- I'm not gonna. I'm not saying. I'm not taking that away from them. They're thirty good games, but at the same time, for sixty dollars, dude, you have to bring down the price. That it's not worth it. It's not what I like the whole concept that you know, hey, it, it brings the original controller. It's yep. a nice little cute thing. Yeah, it's cool, and you bring all the good games, but still, for sixty dollars, that that's just too much. That is just too much. And who who's the one that made this? Hyper game? No, it's who? Nintendo themselves. It's so Nintendo, Nintendo themselves. That's okay, why, because this that, sounds that's like something big, that's that, a big reason. This sounds like something why. that Hyper game would do. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard about that. Uh, no, tell the, us. the 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 Game Boy, the Game Boy Boy. I mean, no. uh, Super Boy. The game, the, is it? Yeah, they have oh, not the Super oh, Boy. Okay, the the Super Boy. Phones. Me personally, I love the Super Boy for sixty dollars, and it plays cartridge, mm-hmm. and it's an on-the-go NES. That's worth sixty dollars, okay? But they made this one recently that it's a Game Boy, but you put your iPhone in it. Yeah, yeah, we you and I have spoken about yeah. it with Alex a few times. That you put your, your your iPhone in it, and it's a Game Boy, and it has the cartridge, mm-hmm. right? But I just found out that that thing is like fifty dollars. I'm like, that is it. you could just buy that's a just Game too Boy. much. You can buy it on Nintendo SP. Not only that, it has the backlight and it has... The, you might as well just buy an SP. They, if you're smart enough and know how to shop, you can get it for 20 bucks. I'm with them on that. Gotta be... Gotta be a smart shopper. Yeah. Yeah, no. It, 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 it's ridiculous. So now going back to... The, look, again. It's a cool little thing. Hey, nice system. It brings you back to the time to some of the great games. You know, that are like... Some of the retro games that are... To this day, right. great to play. I enjoy them, but it's just too much for that. I just download the emulators in my in my uh, computer and I enjoy myself. Sorry, <laughs> it's all right. And I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, those emulators as well, uh, high quality and all that, that'll, that'll be in the computers as well. Of course, they they can Come run on, with like uh, ridiculous yeah. frame rates. Come on, you can put it on your own filters. For God's sakes, uh, which uh, nowadays um, Mario, you can easily play it on your own iPhone. Yeah, you no. can actually emulate a Nintendo 64 yeah, no. game. You can emulate Nintendo 64 games Nintendo, back on your PSP. Nintendo, I love you. You guys revolutionized the gaming industry long ago. You guys are the pioneers, and I salute you. But at the beginning, uh, again. 
you're fucking up again. Okay, <laughs> first the Wii U, now this bullshit. It all started all when right. they lost the water. Yeah. <laughs> guys, you gotta get your shit straight, so. Alright, yeah. guys. Y'all can continue. Have a good night.